Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 13th Yee tutorial. Oh, lucky 13. Halloween's coming up soon. Alright, if you've been following along, we've uh, been creating records. We created two records in the teacher's class named Slarty Bartfast. Um, if you're a Hitchhiker Guide to the Galaxy fan, drop me a note. It was an awesome book. Alright, so let's jump back in where we were. Um, in case you haven't been following along, let me digress for a second here. If you go out to the site, we have added a test view, or I should say a test action, into the teacher's class, and we've just been dumping an object out there as we create it, just for the sake of seeing what's going on. Alright, in the test action, you can see how we've been creating it. I'm just going to comment this out. Oops. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually find a record out in the database. Whoops. Sorry, cat was distracting me. Now, notice how what we're doing is we're calling the teacher's model the static object, and then we're getting the internal model from the object. And we want the find function. And you notice how there's a whole gob of them. You can find, you can find by attribute, and you'll get um, different things. Like you can find a single record, you can find multiple records, you can find all the records. Um, we're looking for a specific one. So let's do this guy right here. Find, condition, equal, and then params array. So now sometimes I don't like NetBeans autocomplete, but we're just going to deal with it for a minute here. So the params is in array. So what we need to do here is we want to find a specific model. And by a specific model, I mean a specific record. So we're creating a variable called model. We're saying teachers, you know, the static reference to it, and the model internal class, we're going to find, and we're looking for a specific criteria. So let's just randomly pick one here. Let's find... Hmm, I need to go on. Anybody? Anybody going once? Let's find John Doe. John Doe needs to die. So let's go here. And we'll say... Now that right there should look very archaic to you. What we're doing is we're saying the field in the database needs to equal and then we have a parameter ID. And this is where the parameter ID comes into play. If we just said name, ye will treat that as a string literal, meaning it'll say first name equal name. If we do that, add that little colon in front of it, ye will say first name equals parameter ID of name, which is in this array that we're passing as a parameter. Whew, that's a mouthful. So if we go back here and we just refresh the page, sure enough, there's John Doe. So we've actually loaded that record. And we can see the ID of John Doe is 8. So let's do a little bit of uh, coding here. Oops. And we're going to actually just delete this record here. Actually, let's not delete it. Let's modify it. I'm going to save delete for another tutorial. And we're going to say last name. Oops. John Hancock. The old John Hancock when you write your signature. And we're going to actually save this. And of course it got bigger because we're loading more. You know, so it's now Hancock instead of John Dell. And if we go out to the database, and there's John Hancock. Pretty simple, pretty easy. 
um, some pitfalls you should understand. Um, I want to explain in this tutorial, but we'll actually go over in future tutorials. If you hit save and it doesn't actually save to the database, you need to validate it. And validate will return a bool. And what that does is if you have specific database rules, for example, like if you say first name cannot be blank, validate will make sure that it's not blank. So I just want, you know, if you're at home playing around with this and it doesn't save, that's something you should look out for. And we're going to go over validation in a future tutorial. I'm trying to keep these really short and simple and to the point. So that's how to find a record, modify it, and save it back to the database.